welcome to The Child's View. I'm here with my colleague, Sharon Brown and Bernadette Towns. And today we're gonna to talk about something, I guess, rather funny. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about poop and other bodily functions like um, boogers, which I have a hard time saying. Booger? Um, really? Yeah, why? I don't, I, we're gonna talk about that. Okay. <laughs> I think I know why that is. Um, and gas, so we have, you know, some books that yeah. we're going to share, but bodily functions are sometimes hard to discuss, yeah. right? Exactly. Teachers get, like, teachers, you know, maybe don't want children to talk about it. Parents mm -hmm. might be offended when it comes up at the table or, you know, yeah. um, in mixed company. But the but thing is, children are fascinated. They are yes. fascinated. They are absolutely yeah. fascinated. And it seems to be that in these early childhood years, you know, when they're starting to realize, you know, that there are all these different spaces on their bodies and things go in and things <coughs> come out, that it really becomes the talk. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, you know, what do we do about that? Mm -hmm. So um, I've been doing a little reading. I have my own theory, but, oh. um, but do tell. the it's theory okay. says that, you know, <laughs> we, should, we should reflect on why we feel how we feel because it really determines how we respond. Right. Okay. First of all, you know, my issue with saying boogers, I don't know why. Maybe I wasn't mm. allowed to. Um, but, so we first need to reflect on that. And okay. then we need to kind of explore why are children interested? You know, is yeah. it because maybe we've been reading a book about, you know, tracks and scat and, you know, we're doing something in nature. It's a great time to talk about poop and why animals yeah. poop and how we track them based on that, what they're eating. Um, but when it comes to their own bodily functions, all of a sudden we go, oh, yeah, we're not talking about that, it's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. It is totally appropriate. So, <laughs> story, story. So I was supervising a school age program and the teachers in the program came to me and they're like, Becky, the kids are talking about poop uh -oh. and boogers and farts and we don't know what to do. <laughs> and I said, Hmm. I had to think about it because my children were very little at the time. And so I, you know, I thought, well, this is not a big deal, right? So I did some research and we talked about it. And I said, okay, I got an idea. It was an after school program. And I said, when they get off the bus, tell them before snack time, you have, you know, from three to 3.30 to talk mm. about it as much as you want. And here's a basket full of books. <laughs> Put whoopee cushions, whatever you want in there. You got 30 minutes. Let them get it out of their system. Yeah, exactly. It worked like a charm. That's awesome. And people, oh my gosh, if you had gone into that room That's and you right. had like 20 children in the corner just laughing and joking and making sounds and you think, what on earth is going on? But um, so, you know, you also create parameters. Right. This is right. an appropriate time. This is not. Right. Right. So, um, so I guess my message is we got to get over it. <laughs> and set parameters. So what do you guys think? What is this Everybody Poops book okay. about? That's what I'm so, curious well, about. I love that book. Really? I've had it for years. Oh, I've never I, seen it. <laughs> this was actually my children's book wow. when we were learning to use the potty. Mm -hmm. So, okay. you know, yeah, I mean, and you're learning to use the potty and it's something we're very serious about. It's important, but we can't talk about what's coming out. I don't know. Right? <laughs> So we really need to analyze why we feel the way we feel and <laughs> have more conversations about it. The other part of this is, you know, we've been talking about stress in other segments yeah. and resiliency and laughter is good for the body. Yeah. It is good. It you know? is it good. Is good. Medicine, yeah, yes. it's good medicine. And part yeah. of it is kids are learning, but they're just playing with it. They're right. having a good time. They see the reaction. Yeah. They oh, get absolutely! Yeah. They yeah. do. And parents' reaction, though, is really. Let's talk about parents' reaction, right? My mm -hmm. daughter, when she was little, I didn't realize she was not potty trained yet. So I hadn't even started potty training her. So she's in the tub and she's telling me, um, uh, "Kaka, go kaka." And I, I'm thinking, you don't know anything about that. I'm, and I'm videotaping this, oh, right? So I'm literally telling her, like, you don't know anything about going caca. You're not even body trained, is what right. I'm thinking. Next thing you know, in the I tub, knew it. there he comes. <laughs> and so I scream, and she screams, the camera goes down. But my reaction of going, ah, right. <laughs> scared her out to death. <laughs> and I, I think that our reactions to these mm -hmm. um, types of moments, you Either when we're potty training or when they right. bring up the subject, they're really important. Right. Yeah. Right. Have you never read this book? No. Oh. Well, it's the cutest book, so I'm just going to give us give a little, little taste. Segment. Okay. Little taste. <laughs> so there's all. Okay. An elephant makes big poops. Uh, a mouse makes little poops. Makes yep. tiny. So, I mean, it talks about all of the animals and, and, and 
different sizes and oh. shapes. A one hump camel, camel oh, makes it. one hump poop, and a two hump camel makes two hump poop. Really? Kids love it. <laughs> it's fun. But yeah. it's, it's also, it's, there's a message here. Right. This uh -huh. is a natural thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we need to right. get past it. We do. We need to like <laughs> It's okay, up. you know. Well, and the other message is, you know, potty learning has been such right. a hot topic. Oh, it's hot. And, you know, and every, I mean, there's so many different ways to address it. And I've had so many parents who get so caught up that you, they need to be potty trained by this time and we need to be done. Right. And I've had parents who even said, tell me if they have accidents, we spank. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do not sweat this small stuff. This is, we start doing things like that and we're going to stress them out. Talk mm -hmm. about the message. Right. You know, again, this is natural. This is yeah. something that the body does, you know, and it's a sign that we're healthy. And so, you know, those parents, they have to remember that comes full circle. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, mm. it comes full circle. <laughs> so, hopefully not, but yes, yeah. it does. It <laughs> goes around, it comes around. <laughs> yeah, or what goes in comes out. That's yeah, another yeah. phrase when we're talking or about. Or better food. in than out. No, yeah. I mean better out than in. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to know why you can't say booger. Oh, yeah, why can't you say booger? I don't know, and even like I, you know, when I was little, I think I was told to use the phrase "pass gas." Yes. Yes. Or I guess because I don't even. I feel like I cringe when I think about fart. It's kind of like saying, "Well, we'll have that for a different segment." But anyway, Whoa. body parts. Oh. You yeah, know, yeah. like well, I'm gonna tell you, there's a book on passing gas besides oh, that. Oh, right here, right there, here. This if you look on what? Amazon, oh, there's gas. So many books. We pass. Uh, the other one that I really <laughs> like is called um, "Good Families Don't." Oh, and it's, and it's, it's about the grandparents, and it's and it's about it's about a family telling their child, "Good families don't fart." Oh. <laughs> Only certain families. Oh fart. my! <laughs> and it causes a green cloud. It's hysterical, but the whole purpose is that everybody but farts. Everybody <laughs> farts. Yeah. yeah. I, Can we uh, say that on TV? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think so, we, since we're talking we're, about Somebody's food. done it somewhere on TV. Yeah, so I'm party. <laughs> so my, my daughter's best friend, her little guy, he is hilarious. And right now, he's very taken with it. And so I bought him a book on gas and uh, farting and pooping. And his mom bought him one, too. I also bought him a whoopee cushion. Oh, I love which it. Which he's having a ball with. <laughs> it's so funny. And so she said, she said, Beck, she said, how do I... Same conversation, you know, how do yeah. I make him understand that there are certain times we have these conversations and certain times we don't, I said you talk to him about it. Right. And you remind him, you will remind him a lot. You know, and if other people have trouble with it, <laughs> they need to read the book. <laughs> because we need to stop sweating the small stuff. Right. And we need to stop getting caught up and causing our children more stress on right. things that are just naturally happening exactly. and should be. And children should be able to ask us questions. We should be able yeah. to talk about it. And for heaven's sakes, we should be able to laugh. Right. So exactly. agreed. <clears throat> yeah, and you probably laugh more than you expected if you open <laughs> open that door to that conversation. Yeah. So you know, we always tell children not to pick their noses. You know, mm -hmm. pick your chair, pick your friend, don't pick your nose. Right. Okay. Right. And so I told my told some little boys that once, don't you know, pick your chair, pick your friend, but don't pick your nose. <laughs> blow our nose and there's no reason to pick your nose I kept saying no reason to pick your nose and so we're working with a little group of kids <laughs> at a little math area and I've got these three little boys and this little boy is very profound Miss Sharon Brown um, my friend had to go to the hospital last night and I said oh I'm sorry what happened he got a bead stuck up his nose and I said oh my goodness well that must be scary Oh, how did that happen? Well, he stuck it up he there to see if there. it would fit. Uh -huh. Right, right. Yep. I have a <laughs> and I story. said, well, it didn't fit. Obviously, it got stuck. He said, yes, but it got stuck on the boogers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another little boy sitting right here listening to that. He looked at me with this most serious face, and he said, see, Miss Sharon Brown, there is a reason to pick boogers. If he'd have picked his boogers, the bean wouldn't have gotten stuck. <laughs> That's a very good point. I know! <laughs> and all I could do was say, awesome I think you're, you're right. right. Good reasoning. <laughs> oh, I know! Right. We get so caught up in the booger part that we forget all this wonderful reasoning that's taking place. Yeah. That was a good argument. It was great. Yeah. I love but it. But I said, still, <laughs> use Kleenex. Well, and. You well, could have blown that bean out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, and you know, that's another thing is children will put things in spaces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had 
one night, I, my son, I didn't catch him doing it. I think he was two and a half. And I looked over and I thought, what is he doing? And I realized that he, I thought he'd eaten all his corn. Oh no, it didn't go in the mouth. He was stuffing it in his nose. In his nose. We were in the bathroom for half an hour blowing out his nose and corn was just coming out. I was like, sweet pea, that needs to go in your mouth. It's good for your body. So there's all kinds of great lessons to be taught. Mm. Um, and then there's also other discussions about safety. Yeah. We had a um, child once in our two-year-old room who put um, a watch battery up her nose. Oh. Three hours, black, spiked fever. We had to take her to the hospital because we couldn't get a hold of parents. And oh. she, they said it could have killed her. Oh yeah. So we have to be you sure, know, sure, sure, conscious yeah. about what's going in and what's coming out. And yeah. my daughter put a, um, in preschool, I'm not sure why in her toddler room, they had cupcakes that had those little red hot candies. Uh huh. Mm. Little red hot candies. Mm -hmm. So she put it up her nose. Ooh, ouch. They panicked. They called me, and I went, and and she was just fine. She's sitting there, and the moisture and the warmth of her nose started to melt that candy, and so it was oh, it was kind of coming down oh. here, and she was going, "Good, mommy, good." <laughs> so I had to take her in. Of course, they papoosed her up. They, you know, they got <laughs> yeah. it out, but but they will put. The oddest thing yes. Yes. in any orifice. Yes. 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 So, but yes. we need to talk about it. We need yes. to talk about um, and parents. Yes. Yes. Just, yes. Yep. If you can. Right. If you can. Yeah. And I love just your, relax about it. Yes. Yeah. And I love your takeaway idea. So I'm gonna steal it. So reflect. Know yourself. Why do we have issues with it? Right. Mm -hmm. um, Get children's input. Why mm -hmm. are they talking about it? What yeah. do they need to know about it? If you're at home, make sure everybody knows we're having these conversations. It's okay. If you're at school, talk to staff mm -hmm. and then take that next step. Let's create some parameters, maybe buy a few books and have a great laugh. So thank yeah. you for joining us today on The Child's View. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check Instagram. We're there too. See you later. <laughs>